Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel, Mathematics channel with really different and interesting relaxing questions. And in this video we have really interesting question, we have 4 divided by 2, divided by 4, divided by 2. On the first side this is a very easy question, yeah, but a lot of students do this common mistake. Because a lot of students solve it in the wrong way, we have a lot of options right here and I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, let's check our answers in the end of the video and I will solve it according to a correct order of operation and I will solve it correctly. So here's our question, here's our option, choose one option, what do you think is a correct answer and we will check our answers, just trust me, it will be really interesting. So first of all we have this question, I want to rewrite it, we have 4 divided by 2 divided by 4 divided divided by divided by 2. What is the first step to solve this question? The first step to solve it is to divide 4 divided by 2, we have 4 divided by 2 equal to equal to 2 and right here we have the same 4 divided by 2, we have the same equal to 2 and this division in the middle, so 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1, this is option A. But here is our question, is it correct or incorrect? I want to show you the second approach and then I will, I will tell you which is correct answer to this question. Because right here we jump from left to right, right here we completed this division on the left hand side, then we jump from or to the right hand side and this division in the middle. So we jump from left to right. Is it correct or not correct? But I think a lot of students solve like that, a lot of students do this common mistake and they say okay option A is a correct answer. Is it correct or not correct? I'm going to tell you here in just, in just one minute. Here is a correct order of operation. For example, in our case this is PMDMC order of operation. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation. Because right here we jump from left to right right here and as you can see we, do, we did a lot of combinations right here. But let's solve it according to PMDMC. Maybe we will have the same answer 1, I don't know exactly, but let's do this. So we have 4 divided by 2 divided by 4 and divided by divided by 2. So here's our question, let's solve it according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and we need to go through the steps real quick. First steps, parentheses. Let's look at it, where do we have this parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, which is really great, so we can easily skip this part, because with parentheses this question is more complicated, but we don't have it, it's really great. The next step, exponents. So we can easily skip this part, because right now we don't have any exponents, we don't have any squares, cubes right here, so we have only regular regular numbers, uh, regular integers right here, which is which is really great because with exponents and parentheses this question will be like more complicated. Okay, multiplication and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say multiplication, okay, now we need to find multiplication sign. But we need to add to this multiplication this division sign, because this is one common group. So we need to look at this question as a, as a group. Yeah, let's scan, where do we have this multiplication division sign? Let's look at it. Right here division sign, we need this expression, yeah, we have the next expression we need, because we have division sign and the next. So all expression with division sign, we don't have multiplication sign, but we have division sign, yeah, so we we completed this step. Saying in simply words, we don't have any addition and subtraction, so we can easily reject our last step. So we have only multiplication and division. It's really great. On, only division, sorry, yeah, we don't have any multiplication. But here's our main question. What is the order to do this problem? Because right here we jump from left to right and then in the middle. And my answer is the next. We need to go from left to right. So we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Let's look at it. The first sign from left to right, of course, we have three signs and the first sign from left to right is this division. So we need to start from this division, yeah? So 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. So we have 2 divided by 4 divided by 2 divided by 4 divided by 2. And what are we going to do next? Right here, as you can see, we have 2 times division. So this is the same case with division signs and we need to do the same logic as right here. What is the first sign from left to right? The first sign from left to right is this division, so we need to divide 2 divided by 4. If we divide 2 divided by 4, we can easily write it in a, in a fraction way, so we can either write it as, as 2 divided by 4, or in the same way, 2 divided by 4 equal to 1, 1 half. Yeah, so I just separate these uh, parts, and this is 1 half, we divided this 1 half by this 2, so 1 half divided by 2 equal to 1 over, over 4, yeah? So this is my solution, option C. And here is our question, which one is correct? Right here we have one fourth, right here we have option A, 
And which one is correct? Really interesting question. And a lot of students uh, say that option A is correct, one another part option C is correct, but here's my answer. Of course, option one fourth is absolutely a correct answer because we solve it according to a correct order of operation and right here we just jump from left to right, which is absolutely incorrect. But even if you wanted to create this uh, answer absolutely correct, you just need to put parentheses. Then you will have like the first step parentheses, then you need to divide right here too, then you need to divide right here here too, and the correct answer is option A. But right here we don't have any parentheses, so the correct answer is option C. So we just reject this option, and the correct answer is option C. So we hope you understand my explanation, I wish you all the best, and thank you for your time, I uh, think you, you enjoyed this video, but if you if you didn't enjoy, you can easily write your uh, option down in a comment, your thoughts in a comment, and thank you for your time. I have a lot of really interesting questions on my channel, and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.